Dr. Ashton here uh, with us again answering your questions. Mm -hmm. The first one here has to do with boosters, Dr. Ashton. Yep. I still have some time left before I can get my booster shot. How can I protect myself from Omicron in the meantime? Well, first of all, and we have to make this crystal clear, the threat right now is Delta. Uh, all of the hotspots in this, in this country right now, Delta is the predominant variant uh, worldwide as well, just because we're tracking Omicron and it has so many of these mutations. Of course, there's concern potentially because we don't know how it will behave, but all eyes still on Delta as they should be. And how you can protect yourself until you get your booster those NPIs, non-pharmaceutical interventions, masking, distancing, ventilation, hand hygiene, all of those things have been proven to slow the spread of the virus, protect us, protect those around us. And I would just add in also testing. You know, we need to lean into that more so that you can know if you're one of the 40% of people who are infected and asymptomatic. So then you can isolate for 10 days. All right, we know you're an OBGYN. Yes. So this is a question right up your alley. Mm -hmm. Do epidurals slow down labor? This is a major misconception, actually. However, there is some data to suggest that if a woman gets an epidural and she's not in active labor, which generally we refer to as four centimeters or more, um, that it can kind of slow things down. But the flip side is also interesting and important, which is that if a woman is in active labor, so let's say six, seven centimeters, contracting every two minutes and in a lot of pain, that pain in and of itself can actually slow down the labor process and the labor curve. So epidurals safe, they can't paralyze you, they don't go to the fetus or baby. Uh, anesthesiologists do this and have been doing it for quite some time. It can make a huge difference. And as I uh, used to say to plenty of women, there is still more than enough pain to go around. Right, I remember when my brother, who's also a physician was like, Amy, why would, do you ask your dentist not that get That's the Novocaine right. when you get a cavity filled. I think so a lot of times it's thing, about right? a fear, um, yeah. either for a woman or the baby. But again, it is safe, right. and being in pain can actually endanger mm. the woman. I had an epidural baby. pump. I was pumping. You could do. They, yeah, you yeah. could do it. You, they let you I do it wanted yourself? my epidural before I even checked into the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Just yes, saying. yes. All right, all right. You can submit your questions to Dr. Jen on her Instagram, <laughs> <at> Dr. <laughs> Jay Ashton. No. All right. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.